Hello beautiful people and welcome to my art channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk about the one thing that all successful artists have in common and it's not what you might think. No, it's not natural born talent. We'll talk about that more another day. But it's that they view the making of the artwork as the most important Thing. The most important process is the making, not the artwork itself and not the painting itself. Now let's delve deeper into that because if you focus only on the painting itself, which is what I see so many beginner artists and new painters doing, then you are letting your skill level determine and define your creative fulfillment and even your self-worth as an artist. And that is a dangerous place to be because not only does it set us up to feel like failure and to feel like we are not worthy as an artist, um, but also no artist ever stops learning. We're all on our own creative journeys that don't have an end. They don't have this uh, moment where we go, oh, I can finally stop painting now because I've reached my potential. No, we always are learning. And really it would be sad if we ever got to that point where we're like, I don't have to paint anymore. I never have to paint again because I have achieved what I set out to do. <laughs> we are always going to be in this process of learning new things, evolving, growing, which means that we also are going to see a lot of mistakes and a lot of failure. Now failure has such like a negative connotation, but actually failure is a great thing as an artist because when we don't fail, we can't grow. And when we re can really get our head over this and when we can get comfortable with making mistakes in our artwork, mistakes, um, then that's when we can actually improve the fastest because we are suddenly opening ourselves up to new experimentation, uh, new opportunities to learn. And that is a really amazing, wonderful place to be because fear can be such a barrier to not only our creative fulfillment, but actually seeing progress as an artist and improving those skills. It's almost like, um, imagine a toddler or imagine a baby and they are wanting to learn to walk and you can see them sort of like crawling and trying to stand up. If they were so scared that they were gonna fall over, they would never stand, they would never walk. So we have to like break down that barrier of worrying about falling over in our art journey for us to be able to walk, for us to be able to run and follow our creative dreams. And I get so passionate about this um, because imagine how quickly your artwork will improve when you are willing to experiment and willing to embrace that fear of it going wrong. And as soon as we can turn that failure into growth and an opportunity for growth, that is when you will really tap into that unlimited potential for your creative journey, improving your artwork and that creative fulfillment that you feel within. And it is almost like um, taking off the reins and just feeling that true inner freedom with your artwork. So I'm really excited. Um, if you feel like this sort of um, mindset is gonna be really great for you, then I would love to invite you to a free Taste of Art lesson and I'll pop the link in the description box and together we can talk about some mindset uh, issues that maybe some of us feel and also I'm going to be sharing some amazing tips with you to improve your artwork. So if you would like to sign up for that free art lesson just go and check the link in the description box and it would be amazing to have you uh, join us in this free lesson. And um, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments, I'll try my best to answer them. As you might know, I do have a toddler of my own and uh, time is difficult <laughs> at the moment to get this one-on-one uh, -on -one chat. So I'll try my best to answer comments. Um, but if I don't, don't feel disheartened. It's probably because I'm changing a dirty nappy. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna leave it there for you guys today because I just want it to be short and sweet. I just wanted to leave you with a little positive thought. Um, so the next time you approach your painting session, Approach it with, without judgment and uh, let yourself fail many times because those are the moments we truly grow. All right, guys, see you later. Have a great week and I'm wishing you lots of creative energy.